What we're looking at here is a PTS-160 programmable frequency synthesizer. This is a beauty. I've always loved these. I have its big brother on my bench right now. I've got the 500. I used to have this 160 just like this and uh, sold it about two years ago, but uh, a beautiful unit. I remember well when I was uh, first married approximately 30 years ago and I was taking a flight uh, on my honeymoon, I was looking in the back of, a, of an electronics magazine and I told my new wife that uh, these were magnificent units and I was, I just knew I couldn't afford to buy one, but uh, boy, I'd love to be able to play with one. Well, this is the third one I've owned, so <laughs> I, uh, I'm quite giddy about it. But anyway, uh, these this row of dials here allows you to select anything from, in this case, uh, 10 hertz at a time, all the way up to 100 megahertz at a time. So you can go 0 or 100, and this will take you up to uh, 10. So you can, go, you can get 160 megahertz on here, so 159.999.99. Um, I've opened it up so that you can see the inside and get an idea what the workmanship is like. All the units are... are encased uh, in aluminum and you know it's for RF uh, shielding and um, and then in the back here we we do have a um, an IO uh, situation we've got a, a very nice crystal oscillator for the master clock power supply as you can see is very clean uh, capacitors look good no signs of any uh, degradation or anything um, we're going to close this unit up and put it through its paces and demonstrate just how magnificent a unit these things are. I love the, uh, the control you have over the frequency. Perfect for, uh, for when you want to test a, a frequency meter um, or just provide any, uh, any frequency you want, maybe to uh, an RF circuit or to... Uh, filters or whatever you'd like to test and, and filters would be a perfect uh, example I mean you could uh, you could dial in exactly the frequency you have for the knee and test it out and so on so give me a minute we're gonna hook this thing up and put it through its paces okay one of the first things I wanted to show you is that the output of my rubidium is 10 megahertz and as read by this universal frequency counter I'm getting 10 megahertz right down to less than a hertz. <clears throat> I could, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, could turn my resolution up and pick up an extra decade, but it's not really necessary. Just want to demonstrate that we got 10 megahertz available here. So let's disconnect this. And now we're going to connect the output of this PTS unit to the counter. We've just turned on the PTS unit moments ago. And at the moment we have 20,000 kilohertz. Um, so that'd be 20 megahertz to within 16 hertz. And that's from a cold start. Now as we let this thing warm up, I kind of halfway expect that would drop back down it is adjustable. Uh, yeah, here we just went to 14. Yeah, we're bobbling a little. So we'll let it go. We'll check it out in a while. But um, okay, I wanted to demonstrate that you know we've been on about 15 minutes now, and I'm checking the 10 megahertz output again, and we see that we've dropped now to within being within six hertz of the 10 megahertz frequency. So that's a 12 hertz improvement in 15 minutes. We're dropping rather quickly and approaching the 10 megahertz uh, setting. I do believe that uh, within an hour or so's time that this unit will be uh, uh, very close to that frequency. So we'll come back and check it and, uh, and verify that. Okay, well it's been approximately an hour since we turned this unit on. And we are now displaying 
10 megahertz to within a hertz. In fact, let's uh, let's turn up the time base and see if we can pick up another decimal resolution here. Okay. So right now we are within 10 it's 0.9 hertz. 0.8 Okay, so we're about within 0.8 hertz right now of 10 million coming out of this uh, generator. Just took us an hour to warm up, and I'll bet you that within the next hour we'll be less than half of that. All right, we'll come back and look. Okay, we're about an hour and 12 minutes into our uh, warm up period. And we are right now reading 10 megahertz to better than a tenth of a hertz. So we're somewhere in the hundredth of a hertz right now. So it's uh, it's also slowed down in its in its drop. So looking very accurate at the moment. Here's 10 kilohertz within 8 hertz, seven. Eight. It would be one. That would be one megahertz. Point eight hertz off. One point one, one point two, one point three. Very simple. All I have to do is just turn the dial. One point four. Beautiful. Try and do that with just any, you know, most other units, and uh, and you'll fail. You won't be able to get anything like that, especially when you consider that I can adjust. See, I'm adjusting the uh, the tens of hertz down on the lower end. <clears throat> I could adjust the hundred. We'll put a hundred in the head of it. <clears throat> One fifty. We'll go to two fifty. Okay. How about we go twelve fifty? All right. How about we go? 21,250. Great fun to be able to dial in with that kind of accuracy exactly what you're going to see on the meter. Now imagine applying that to filter circuits. Yes. Or radio frequency tuning if you want to do adjust a, an oscillator or whatever, provide your frequency dead on with this thing. Checking meters, it's a natural. For checking a frequency meter. An excellent bench unit, an excellent source of RF. Now let's take a look at the uh, at the output of this thing to see what it looks like. We're going to hook it up to the scope. So give me a moment, we'll be right back. All right, we've connected up the scope. At the moment we're putting out 100 megahertz and we're feeding it in on channel B and we're displaying the 100 megahertz on the scope here. All right, let's uh, let's take it to ninety, eighty, seventy, sixty, fifty, forty, thirty, twenty, ten. Then. Uh, Nine megahertz, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's, uh, all right, 
That's one megahertz. As you can see, the display is quite clean. This would be 900 kilohertz, 800, 700, 600, 500, 400. Let's turn our 300, 200, 100. This is the limit of our adjustable range. That's uh, 140 kilohertz right there. Now, if I was to load this with uh, 50 ohms, we would have no problem at the, uh, the 100 kilohertz. All right, so we've got a nice clean signal. We've got um, unbelievable uh, control over the frequencies. We have adjustable um, amplitude on the output. We have a built-in meter to give us an idea of the amplitude of the output, built-in RF meter. And uh, we have indication whether we're in local control or remote control through the computer control port on the back, if you were so uh, inclined to try and set that up. Nothing I fooled with. The, uh, the output is into 50 ohms. It reads dB millivolts right off of the meter. I have a, an excellent manual for this. I'll provide it as well. And I highly recommend it. Beautiful, beautiful unit. I was very happy with it. And I think everybody would be to own one like this. So uh, I'll provide the manual with it. And uh, happy bidding. Thanks for listening.